Welcome to this video about email quarantine in the Office 365 environment. You've probably noticed new quarantine notification emails in your inbox. Today we'll walk you through what email quarantine is and how you can use quarantine to manage your emails efficiently and securely. While you may be hearing about email quarantine for the first time, CU Boulder has always had an email quarantine system in place. It's been quietly working behind the scenes, effectively filtering and blocking potentially harmful emails from reaching your inbox. However, in the past, users didn't have direct visibility into this process. With our recent migration to the Office 365 environment, we've made a conscious decision to make email quarantine visible to users like never before. Now you will have the power to manage your safe senders and block senders lists, as well as access and review your quarantined messages without submitting a help ticket. This visibility empowers you to take more control over your email experience while keeping the benefits of an efficient and secure email quarantine. Let's dive into the four essential parts of email quarantine. Quarantine location, safe senders and block senders lists, notifications and access, and automatic deletion. First up, we'll briefly go over where quarantine is located and how it functions in relation to your email client. Quarantine is a secure area that sits before your email client, like Outlook. All emails undergo security checks, and if the system detects anything suspicious, the email is sent to quarantine for further review. This proactive approach protects your inbox from potential threats and provides a more secure email experience. Now let's explore how you can control mail routing through your safe senders and block senders lists. When you add an email address to your safe senders list, it acts as a VIP pass for emails from trusted sources. Under most circumstances, messages from these addresses won't be sent to quarantine, ensuring you don't miss any important communications. However, if a sender is using tactics that Microsoft deems suspicious, they may end up in quarantine, especially right after you add them to your safe senders list. Conversely, adding an address to your blocked senders list instructs the system to keep emails from that sender in quarantine or junk mail, preventing them from cluttering your inbox. Please note that similar email addresses from the same domain need to be individually added to the block list. For example, adding Larry at spam.com won't automatically block Curly and Mo from getting to your inbox. As you add to your safe and block senders lists, it's important to check your email quarantine. The more you engage, the faster the system learns what belongs in your inbox, quarantine, or junk folder. Let's talk about quarantine notifications, access, and a few of the ways you can handle items in your quarantine. As new messages land in your quarantine, you'll receive a daily notification summarizing the contents. You can directly manage what happens with these messages from that email by clicking Review Message, Release or Request Release, or Block Sender. If you ever find yourself missing an important email or need to check your quarantine at any time, simply visit security.microsoft.com slash quarantine. From the Microsoft Defender Quarantine website, you can easily review and manage any emails that may have been intercepted. Let's go over how to manage your quarantine. Select an email, then click the Preview Message button. Preview allows you to read the email so you can see what the content is as if it had landed in your inbox. If you'd like to release the email to your inbox, click the release checkmark icon at the top of the page. This will show more information about the email and the sender. If you determine it's safe, click release email. Please note that emails with more red flags will show a request release button and OIT will need to review it before it's released to your inbox. Next, you have to confirm that you would like to release the message to your mailbox. The panel will close and you'll notice that the email status will change to released. You can leave it as is or select the email and click the delete icon to remove the message from your quarantine. When you find emails that are not safe or are simply spam, you can delete them, but you can also leave them in quarantine. You only need to take action on items that need to be delivered to your inbox. Automatic deletion will take care of everything else. Speaking of automatic deletion, let's go over it real quick. Items in quarantine are not meant to stick around forever. After 30 days, any emails in quarantine will be automatically deleted. Think of quarantine as a recycling bin. You can double check that you didn't throw out an important document or bill, but with a quick glance, you can tell that most of the contents are junk mail. 
Automatic deletion ensures that your quarantine stays organized and allows you to briefly look at and delete those daily notification emails if nothing jumps out as necessary to release. You may also want to consider setting a rule to filter those daily quarantine notification emails into a separate folder to keep your inbox even more clutter-free. In conclusion, email quarantine in the Office 365 environment provides an extra layer of protection for your inbox that you have control over. Visit our website, oit.colorado.edu slash email dash quarantine for more information, including tutorials and FAQ and links to additional resources. If you have any questions or need further assistance, contact the IT Service Center at 303-735-4357 or email oithelp at colorado.edu. Thanks for watching and happy emailing.